Hello and welcome. This week we will have a look at this patch and create this. There are parameters to change and get variations. It's possible to change the shape itself, like changing the waves or the noise. Look at the patterns and notice how they are creating the SOP shape. Change type, cycles, length, and other parameters. Just try to play with these three patterns. Change the pattern type and again change the parameters. Since you have three of them you can create a hundred shapes. The thumbnail is a simple one. Add SOP operators like noise etc. Feedback effect is adjustable and even you can change the parameters of the particle GPU and so on. So, let's start. From chop tab add three patterns. These will define the base shape. Merge them with chop merge operator. Add rename and change channel names to TX, TY, and TZ. Add chop to sub. This is the shape created based on the patterns. By changing the phase or length of each pattern, the shape be changed. We need a top for the source of particle GPU that will come next. So SOP to chop again. I turned the shape into SOP before, to be able to add SOP operators. Then chop to top and change data format to RGB. Open the palette and from tools, add particle GPU. This is the default particle system. Now connect the top to the first input. The source has defined. Close all forces magnitudes from the forces tab. Go to material tab and change material to line. Okay, now we have particles on our shape. Add a null to get the output of particles. Add another null at the end of the patch and connect it to out node. Go to particle GPU, and turn off display bounds. Make some changes and movement on the shape. Go to chop patterns and use absolute time expression for the phase. It's too fast so I multiply it by 0.2. I want my own camera for the particle GPU. Add camera. Split screen and go inside particle GPU. Open render parameters and drag and drop that camera to render camera.
Okay, now I can orbit my own camera around particles. Of course you can use the default camera. Just copy it from inside and make a copy of that outside particle GPU and change render camera to it. Go to particle forces and change turbulence type to age. Increase birth number. Decrease life and size of particles. Make them as small as sand. Add a top feedback loop. Add feedback, level, and decrease the opacity from post tab. Add it to the previous top and set the add as the feedback target top. This is the result with feedback. To create some more movement, add a top noise. I connected the main top to this noise to have the same setting as it. Just go to output tab and change RGB to noise. Use absolute time expression to Z axis translate. Add displace and connect the noise and the top to displace. Make sure you connect them to right input. Decrease displace weight. Instead of the add operator. Use this displace as the feedback target top and adjust the displace weight. That noise is making the movement on the feedback so make this and displacement parameters however you want. Okay, to add some colors I use a ramp and lookup. Connect the ramp. Make it circular and create your desired gradient. This time I want to make it red. You can try to get something like what is in the thumbnail. Connect the main top before feedback loop to a blur. Add a null and add this to the colored top after lookup. Add bloom to both of the to make them kind of shiny. Decrease both blooms pre-black level and adjust the sizes. Try to make some shininess.
It's possible to change the color from the ramp. But I like the red for now. By changing the parameters of the chop patterns like length and phase, it's possible to create many shapes. Or parameters of the particle GPU like birth, life, and sizes or even the forces or whatever else. If you increase birth and life, decrease the opacity of feedback to have proper brightness. I suggest you to animate the shape and reach complicated shapes with chop patterns. These patterns have many options to change. Remember it's a 3D shape so you can move your camera with having the feedback effect in proper directions. Okay this is my result for now. Have fun. See you.